Welcome to App Therapy Club, a place for part-time creators and coaches like you. Join your host, Tanya Smith, founder of Get Noticed with Video and Stream Like a Boss TV, to learn about online tools and smarter ways to make great content even when you're short on time or resources. Now let's get into the show. All right, y'all, we're going to talk a little bit about Cast Magic. It's a content creation machine. It's something that I use in almost every single part of my video content creation. And one of the things that I absolutely love about Cast Magic is that I can do just about everything I need to do when I'm repurposing, whether it's related to meetings that I have with my coaching clients, um, podcasts, all kinds of stuff right inside of this platform. It is basically a tool that allows you to take either video or audio content and it transcribes it into text that then can be reformatted into other functions. So I'm definitely going to show you a demo of this in just a second. One of the things that I absolutely love about it is they do have a thriving community. The folks that are on the Slack community for Cast Magic are always talking. They're constant office hours. You can meet anytime with Greg and he's going to talk with you about specifics. If there's something you're missing in using Cast Magic, look, this is what he was able to do for me not that long ago. He came here on the show. We came on the show at, actually for Stream Like a Boss TV several weeks back and just blew all of our minds with all the stuff that it could do. I didn't even know I wasn't using it effectively. So I got to show you the back end. But first, Let's do a deep dive into the home page. So here's the home page for Cast Magic. And Cast Magic, as it says, turns conversations into content like magic. <laughs> and it uses AI to do just that. So I am noticing that they are definitely growing. There's so many more people that are using this now. I'm starting to hear more about them at different conferences and workshops and events. As a matter of fact, Ecamm Live has an event that's going to be coming up very soon. That's also on my events page, by the way. And Cast Magic will be one of the presentations that you'll get to hear about and learn more about directly from their mouth. So look at that. Turn one media file into 100 content assets. Pretty much everything that they're saying they can do, they can do. I've seen it for myself. I've been using it practically every day. Actually, I think it has been every day. But here where they talk about podcasts, YouTube, meetings, coaching, sales, customer research, you name it, you can do it with Cast Magic. I love how it makes my workflow so much easier. And I'm just going to touch the tip of the iceberg with it when I show you the back end of mine. So castmagic.io. And thank you for asking that, Wayne. Let me pop up my QR code one more time. Here it is. So Cast Magic. Now, when I originally bought this, it was on sale for AppSumo lifetime deal. So the ones that I tend to talk about on this show, when I talk about lifetime deals, y'all, I try to give you if there's a deadline or a timeline or a countdown, I try to tell you so you don't miss out. This one, if you missed out, you really missed out because they literally have done nothing but add new features constantly. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start it off in um, daytime mode. I'll show it in light mode at first. And I'll also show you that they just recently launched or opened up a dark mode for those who like to work in dark mode too. So this is the back end of my cast magic. So here's what I want to show you a couple of different things about the space. First of all, you can create multiple workspaces. So notice how it says my space right there. Um, and by the way, I'm about to max this thing out because I do have the lifetime version. They gave us additional options and perks to be able to buy more minutes per month at a really super low value. So that's why this pop up is here. You may not see that on your screen if you don't have lifetime. Okay, but over here on the left-hand sidebar, you'll notice that there's multiple spaces you can create. And so I have one for my Stream Like a Boss TV channel. Notice it is actually automatically sequentially assigning numbers for every episode. Because when I'm done with this live stream and I upload, I import my video using a YouTube link, or I could import the video or audio if I wanted to do it this way, or... 
I could submit an RSS feed. So as I'm creating content, if I'm doing so, for instance, in a podcast that has an RSS feed, I can simply submit the RSS feed. And every single time I have new content coming into that feed, it is uploading into my media library. But once I've done that, what I love is that it automatically is assigning by sequential order. So it's saying, oh, you're on season three, episode 162. And it adds that in here. A couple of other things that you'll see that I have over here, I have a podcast. So my App Therapy Club podcast is here. My um, podcast called The Wrap is here. I've got courses and webinars that I'm going to be adding in here. I've got calls from our Stream Bosses Academy. So when we do our training day calls, I've transcribed those and turned those into content and so on and so forth. So you can create new spaces. And when you create that new space, watch this. When you create the new space, you can tell it how you want to automate the sequential order. So do you want it to just be freeform where you add your own label? Do you want it to do a season with an episode number? So on and so forth. You can tell it what language to specify, what language your transcriptions will be in, and you can give it specific words that you use all the time. So for instance, I might put stream boss or stream like a boss in here as a magic word. And then when I save the context prompt, that is simply a sample of my own writing, the way that I write or speak, I might put a sample in here to help the AI to learn how to basically transcribe it in a way that I, or transcribe the content that's coming afterwards, which I'll show you in a second, in a way that I would speak. OK, so I'm just going to save this space just so you can kind of see what happens next. So when you do that and you create this new space, you can assign it depending on the type of profile you want to create. So do you want to create a YouTube channel profile? Do you want a podcast? Do you want to do this for meetings? Excuse me, meetings. Do you want to do this for coaching? Is it for customer discovery courses and webinars? What are you doing this? What is this space going to incorporate? What are you including? What type of content? The reason why this is relevant is because the prompts will be different. So watch this. The prompts are different depending on the profile that you set. That is pretty cool. So look at that sales call. Oh, you want budget and buying process. Now, mind you, whatever the prompts are that it automatically populates with, you can change those later. So you're just going to start by choosing what type of profile you want. And then you're going to tell it, hey, I want to, you know, remove or add new prompts. So I'm going to show you, for instance, I'm going to get out of that and I'll remove that test later. There's something else that I wanted to show you in here. So let's do, let's pull up one where I have multiple guests. Let's see. I'm going to pull up my friend Liz because Liz is on Survivor, y'all. You need to be cheering her on just in case you haven't seen her on the Survivor episodes. She's in season, the season right now that's going on. She's in there. So she and I spoke not that long ago. She did a video or a call with me. Take a look at this. It's got the video right there that was taken out of my YouTube so it can be synced to the transcript so I can have that popped up and rolling as I'm going through the transcript and pulling certain segments. So if I wanted to look at that, copy a certain selection, I could actually clip that media and I can move it into a studio, which I'm not loving that yet. <laughs> so remember, I told you I would tell you what I love and what I don't love. What I love is just about everything about this. But there's one thing I don't necessarily love. So let's say that I'm doing prompts because this is part of my stream like a boss TV channel. So the prompts that I have and I'm going to move this out of the way, the prompts that I have going to collapse them all. These are the ones that I commonly will use so that when I'm done with my live stream video, I now can go in here and find alternative titles that I can use for that video. I've got an alternative YouTube description so I can say, hey, let me put this in there in place of what I originally had. I'm going to use this with just a little bit of, um, I can modify the way that they have actually created the prompt and tell it, hey, be more serious, be more casual, make it shorter, make it lar larger or longer rather. I can do all kinds of stuff with this, but these are prompts that are a part of what I chose when I set up the content profile. Or I may have also told it, hey, I wanna add some additional prompts, which is what I did right here with the social carousel. So now I can go use this information from my single episode and turn this into a carousel in Instagram. So I can use the text, right? 
and just convert this over in Canva or in Adobe, and now it becomes a part of a carousel. Or I could create a blog post, or I could use conversation starters and start a whole conversation after the show, right? So this is really just amazing, all the things you can do. They even have a community prompt space. So if you want, go into magic chat, as they call it, right here, you can actually add a prompt that is specific to that episode. Or you could say, hey, you know what? I really like that prompt that I created. I'm going to do something more. I want to use this prompt that I created with every other thing I use in all of my workspaces. Or I'm going to use one of the community prompts that's already been saved. So now, two things that are on my wish list for Cast Magic. Remember I said I would give you a breakdown of things I love and things I don't love. The community prompts, I think, are good. They're decent, but I want more. I've only seen two pages in the time that I've had it. Um, so I would love to see more well thought out prompts be added to this library. So I think that would be super cool. Now, if you want your prompt featured, you can submit it right here. And maybe enough people haven't submitted theirs. I think I need to work on that. But I want more of these. And I also at this time don't love the studio feature yet. So here's studio and it's fairly new. So I'm going to give them some grace on this. <laughs> the studio feature has a quote card. And so you can pull a clip from what you just created. So if you go back into the magic chat, you can pull a clip and then it can actually create this text based image. But I don't love the look of this. I'm just saying this is not my favorite yet. Um, it says you can generate a color with AI, but it's not generating an image yet. Um, and then you can just export it. So this part, they've got some ways to go. But once they get that thing down, I think that's going to be awesome, especially if they get additional quote information or eclipse that they can create here. And I think I was able to create something. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's say... Let's say if we did this, hold on. Studio, so see what it does? It can create an audiogram, it says. Again, don't love the style. Yeah, this is too elementary, as someone said in the comments. So that part, don't love it. But everything else, I absolutely love. There's one more thing I'm gonna show you in here. By the way, I mentioned that they have um, scheduling for onboarding call calls and their Slack community is really, um, invested. They're all vested in making sure that this thing works. I think one of the things I would encourage you to do if you take part in Cast Magic, if you do join, be sure that you get connected on an onboarding call. Be sure that you join in on the town halls, when they offer webinars, when they offer meetings. Be a part of those because you will learn so much from other people who are using the system too. You would be amazed at how people are using this thing. So there's one other thing I wanted to show you that is super cool in here. Again, there's the link and there's the QR code. One more thing, and then we're going to wrap. That one thing is this. You can also use their iOS app. So they have an iPhone app where you can actually, some of you may know, it's, I think it's called Audio Pin, and there are a couple of other apps that are similar to this. But if you use the app, what you have the capability of doing is simply pulling your phone up, speaking into the app, and then it transfers into your account and you can do all the things that I just told you you can do with the prompts and the magic chat and create different content based on what you recorded onto your phone. How beautiful is that? It's super simple to do. So grab the app and use that. It is in test and beta mode. So I'm sure there's some improvements that will be coming, but frankly, it, you, it works fine for me right now. I love it for the option of being able to transcribe my coaching calls and to send my coaching clients a page that has kind of a recap of some of the things we talked about, the high level points, key themes, action items. I love that you're able to actually there is something called pages, which I won't go into now, but pages inside of Cast Magic will pull together multiple recording content and you can ask questions and generate content from crossover content that you have. So let's say, for instance, you've created three different workshops or webinars, and now you want to create a page that kind of highlights certain things that are covered in all three of those workshops. And that becomes a page now that has content that has combined the knowledge and the wisdom that you shared in all three of those different workshops. Is that crazy? There is so much that you can do. It's all whatever you have in your mind, whatever you want to create. But yeah, I, I think 
here, let me pop this note up too. The studio is a bit elementary for now, but knowing them, they're going to expand and make this thing really grow. So I can't wait to see what else they do with studio. Even though I don't love it right now today, I will. I'm sure I will because I've loved everything else that they've implemented in the space. Look, the main thing about Cast Magic is that it can truly become a, a critical part of your workflow. For me, when I'm done with my live streams and my podcast too, right? So with my podcast, I have the ability to be able to use that for show notes and to create simple social media posts that are leading people back to the podcast. For my live streams, I use that to be able to create the carousel to create a short script for me to do a reel from, to create um, quotes, to pull out high-level quotes. So if I have guests on the show, it can pull quotes from them because it recognizes multiple speakers. We didn't get into all of that, but it can do so much. There's so many different things that you are able to do with Cast Magic. So I hope you have learned a lot and enjoyed this episode. Let me pop that link up one more time for you, and that one is... Cast Magic, there's our QR code. If you're interested in taking it for a spin, going over to Cast Magic, Tanya's.link slash Cast Magic is where to go. Or just scan the QR code and it will take you right there so that you can try it out. Thanks for joining us on this App Therapy Club episode. Remember to subscribe here and on YouTube so you never miss a post. We'll be back talking about systems, tools, and tips to help part-time content creators get more done in less time. Oh, 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 oh,